Hi, my name is Param Parvizi from Talent, and in this short demo, I'll aim to demonstrate our integration with Greenplum database as well as Greenplum distribution of Hadoop. Talent Open Studio offers two sets of connectors for communicating and connecting to Greenplum database. Uh, under database category, underneath Greenplum, we have our ETL set of connectors, which leverage Java and JDBC for native communication to Greenplum. We also have our ELT set of connectors. These connectors leverage the processing power within Greenplum database by directly executing and submitting SQL queries to the database itself. Going back to our ETL set of connectors, we have basic connectors for input and output of data into Greenplum database. Our input connector handles any customized SQL for data retrieval from the database. Our output connector could handle insert, update, delete, as well as merge operations. We also have bulk loading connectors that utilize Greenplum's parallel loading utilities such as GP load. Also connectors for handling connections and transactions as well as the special connectors for handling slow changing uh, dimensions and data warehousing type of applications. Now let's see these connectors in action by going through some of the real case scenarios that Talon is used by some of our customers. Let's start by going through a migration application. In this example, I'm going to use Talon to create a series of ETL jobs that are going to transfer data from an existing source, let's say MySQL, into Greenplum uh, database. In migration application or any other sort of application, you can use the Talon metadata layer to quickly identify your source and target systems. In this case, I'm going to right click on my DB connections and I'm going to create a new connection to Greenplum. Uh, I'm going to give my connection a name. Let's just say Greenplum. Click Next. From list of available DBs, I'm going to be able to pick Greenplum. Now, I'm just going to provide my login information. So, use my GP admin account, my server information. my schema for my database and I'm going to click finish. Once I got my connection created I can turn into my new connection and retrieve any of the existing metadata in my database. The metadata could be tables, views, synonyms or any other sort of metadata. Then click next, drill down into my public schema. Now I can see a list of my tables that already exist and I can check to import all of them into Talent click next, review my tables, and hit finish. Once I have both my uh, source and target information defined, I can turn to my job design to actually start designing the ETL jobs using for the migration. I'm going to actually in this case use our job templates which are specialized to create the jobs for me. I'm going to indicate that I'm going to move the data from a table to table, identify my source system, in this case my MySQL database, in the next step, I'm going to have a chance to review all the tables that I want to bring over. So I'm just going to click everything. Now I got to define the specialized component that's going to be actually used to export the data into my target system. In this case, I'm going to scroll down until I find our Greenplum component. Here it is. Identify the target connection. Now you see everything's populated. I can actually change my table names if I wanted to. Also, Talon can be used to migrate the metadata itself and actually create the tables on the target side for me. So I'm going to choose to actually drop the tables if they exist and recreate them on the targets. Now I'm almost done. I'm going to choose to insert actually a tmap between my components to be able to do further transformations if I wanted to. Check that everything's okay and click to finish the job. Now as you can see the talent will go and actually create a series of job for each table to be migrated over. I'm going to open one of these jobs, let's say the order table to see what's inside. Uh, as you can see the flow is fairly simple the job is reading data from MySQL, doing some simple transformation and outputting the data into Greenplum, drilling into our, the Greenplum component, we're using our Greenplum output component. The connection information is already populated, my table name, the action on table, as well as 
action on data which is set to insert but I can also change this action to update insert or delete which might be useful in the synchronization phase of my project also the mapping is done one-to-one -one by default but I can open our mapper to do any modifications for example change my uh, column names if I wanted to their type or directly insert any transformations that I have into our expression window I'm going to switch over to the run tab and run this job. Now the job is getting populated with the code and executed on my server to actually do this transformation. After the job's finished, I can go into my metadata column and actually see the data being populated on my Tiger site. So I'm going to go to my orders table and user data viewer. Everything looks good and all my data seems to be transferred over correctly. Now let's move on to our other Green Plum components by going through a typical data warehousing application. Here I've already created a series of jobs. In my first job, I'm going to demonstrate our slow changing dimension for Green Plum. Uh, this component is called T Green Plum SCD and it can take care of pretty much type 1, type 2, and type 3 dimensions automatically. Uh, fairly easy to set up. All you need to do is identify which column in your source table is belongs to type 1 category, which column belongs to type 2, type 3, and also identifying your start end dates for type 2 fields as well as your surrogate keys. The component will automatically create all the logic to uh, identify type 2 records and if they've changed and create a new record for these uh, new rows. Also, uh, I have a typical job for loading a fact table. In this job, I'm actually creating a connection to my Green Plum database, and I'm going to go through a folder and list all the new files to be uploaded into my fact. One of the particular things about this job is it uses the T Green Plum GP load component that we have for bulk loading data into Green Plum. This component directly invokes the GP load utility within Greenplum that opens a parallel loading process uh, to the Greenplum database. Uh, also, I'm using a couple of our T Greenplum input connectors to be able to do a lookup and some transformation before I do my GP load uh, component. And everything at the end is wrapped into one transaction in my job. Now, one of the nice things about running uh, Talon in, in design mode is that I can take advantage of also the debug mode that we have and being able to step through data one by one and actually seeing my transformation and lookups taking place. Here, as you can see, the data is going through. Um, go, I have my first record, and I can just click Next to step through my data one by one. The GP load connector is also very simple to uh, configure. It has our action on, on table. Again, it, it could create the table on the fly if it doesn't exist. It could also insert, merge, or update data into database. And as well as it could work on a data file or it could work directly by streaming the data through a name pipe into the database, which will probably give you the maximized performance. Also, I have a typical ELT job here that would do a typical aggregation for me. Uh, in most cases, uh, in a data warehousing application, uh, you'll have to join few tables and doing lookups and aggregations all at the same time. In this job, I'm bringing data in from few tables that already exist in, in my Green Plum database, doing a T-map and updating the data into an aggregation table. Uh, setting up this uh, job is fairly straightforward. It's uh, pretty much like setting up an ELT job. Um, I can open my mapping and here you can see my different tables are mapped into my output table and I can again just like the T-map our ETL component, I can enter any transformations directly by entering them into our ex expression window. 
The difference between this component and our TMAP in ATL is that actually this component is generating a SQL query that's getting executed or getting transferred to Greenplum for the execution. Now you've seen most of our connectors in the Greenplum category. So let's move on to our integration with Greenplum Hadoop uh, distribution. Uh, Talon, we have two series of connectors that support our Hadoop integration. The first set is, is our HDFS connectors under File Hadoop category. These components enable you to import data from virtually any, any source into HDFS Hive HBase or sequence files. We also have a series of co connectors that uh, allow actually processing a data that is already inside Hadoop and that would include our ELT set of connectors used with Hive or our PIC series of connectors in the processing which will create actually a PIC script that would get transferred into Hadoop for transformations, aggregations, and other uh, functions uh, such as sorting, joins, or ex etc. With this, we can pretty much wrap up today's demo. From here, I'd like to direct you guys to our website, talent.com, where you can find more information about our integration with Greenplum, uh, watch pre recorded webinars, or download Talent Open Studio to start your integration today. Thank you for watching this.